Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you're all fit and well. We're back again with a light-hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So let's jump in and see what's cooking today. Vietnam, the biggest winner from the first year of the US-China trade war. And the Nikon Swan UFO sightings. Uh, apparently UFOs have been calling in and getting takeaways at uh, Nikon Swan at one of the temples there. Something like that, or drive-in or something like that. Or drive-through, on a serious note. Painting elephants with their trunks. Uh, is it animal cruelty? Let's have a look. Tragic news, elephants drowning in Thailand, 11 of them. Man, not good. But first up, are fake watches coming to an end? That's the main reason I used to travel to Thailand, was to buy fake watches. Anyway, what's happening, Mark? Hi there, it's Mark, reporting for Talk Back Thailand. It's looking like the time is up for all the fake watches that are being sold and fake handbags are being sold in Thailand. During the Deputy Prime Minister and Commerce Minister has decided on Thursday, presided on the destruction of goods of infringed and intellectual property. He said that adhering to intellectual property law would increase potential market for Thai products and service and strengthen the business performance of global trade competition. The government considers an intellectual property protection system to be important for the country and has improved the system to be more effective, particularly around the law enforcement, he said. To protect intellectual property rights, the government has required the Commerce Ministry to coordinate with related agencies to monitor pirated products in both physical and online markets. The coordination will proceed under supervision to the suppression of intellectual property and fridge subcommittee to be made up of 17 of related agencies. According to Intellectual Property Department report, some 10,620,000 items should be destroyed, valued at 55 million baht, if they were sold at the, at the price of the branded items. So who's the winner in the trade war between China and the USA? Vietnam. Foreign companies in China are relocating to Vietnam in droves. And the Vietnamese economy has grown 8% because of the shift in production resulting from the US-China trade war. At this stage, the clear winner is Vietnam. Many companies are shifting their factories from China to Vietnam, underlining the strong potential as the development for industrial real estate continues. Possible buyers of industrial land in Vietnam are in the field of electronics, textiles, footwear, spare parts, production such as Henwa, Yakawa, Shafu, Gore-Tec, Foxcom, Lenvo Computers, well, Nintendo, Sharp, Krikora and Oasis, according to reports. Due to the trade war between China and the United States, Companies are really looking closely at Vietnam. And well, Vietnam's quite aware of this and converting agricultural land into industrial land, guaranteeing when they do come to Vietnam, they will stay. Vietnam has gone as far as to start building factories so that some of these companies can just move straight in, which will make any company that goes to Vietnam very competitive on the world market. Putting all this with low labor costs, Vietnamese government incentives, special tax rates, and what Vietnam has done is concentrate on quality, not quantity. The US-China trade war, additional investments, and the new free trade agreements have all had a positive effect on Vietnam's industrial sector. So what's the future for Vietnam in Southeast Asia? That will become an absolute powerhouse. Shadow control. Three more UFOs approaching orbital reference. Three, one. Good day, folks. There's been a um, UFO flap happening recently in the sleepy Thai town of Khao Kala in Nakhon Sawan province. There's a group of people who have formed there over several years. UFO believers that have been summoning the UFOs which contain aliens uh, to their meditation location to enhance their um, well religious beliefs and helps them with psychic predictions of the uh, future events such as World War 3 coming in 2022. Police raided the mountain and the group meditating and uh, summoning aliens due to local uh, villagers complaining to police. The police commander responded saying he would um, round up and capture any aliens that landed in the UFOs. 
Uh, g'day sports fans, I recently put out a video on my channel, uh, the Lion King channel, the elephants painting in the part of the Lumpung Elephant Conversations at Conservation Centre's um, elephant show. I got a bit of a rebuke from another vlogger who's um, starting the channel and he's reviewed it as news. Um, he's a bit, bit uninformed there and uh, thinks it involves animal cruelty. Well, let's um, just say that's not right. Royal Elephant Stable. So looks like the royal family keeps elephants here too. Thanks, I believe the whole the whole place is a royal was a royal project, and it still is. So the whole facility is sponsored by the royal family. The centre is um, under patronage of the of the royal family of Thailand, and and to insinuate that there's animal abuse and cruelty going on at the centre is is just ludicrous. The um, Thais and the royal family have the highest regard for elephants in Thailand. Elephants hold a very special place with Thai people. Oh look, here's the um, Princess uh, Serendhorn here at the at the elephants. I believe, or is it the the Queen? I I think it might be the the Rama. Yeah, Rama Nine's Queen. These are pretty old photos. Unfortunately, a two-week holiday and hours and hours spent on Google does not make one an expert on Thailand. You need to go and spend some real time there to make um, statements like this. It, the people aren't credible. Adrian has stated he didn't see any cruelty there. He's also said, I've been visiting the conservation centre since it was established and never seen or heard any such claims. This is a very stressing story and very sad. Six elephants unfortunately have died in Thailand trying to save each other from falling into a waterfall. It is believed the herd fell into the water trying to save a baby elephant. Two other elephants were found struggling on a ledge trying to save themselves. Originally the pair of elephants had apparently attempted to save one of those that fell. But they found themselves trapped on the thin, slippery sliver of rock above the churning water. The Thai authorities are attempting to move them. The dead elephants included a three-year-old calf, said a park chief. The waterfall has been closed temporarily due to the accident. Officials in the northeastern Khao Yai National Park were alerted to the elephants crying for help at 3am. So went to assist and were shocked at what they had found. They found six elephant bodies at the bottom of the waterfall. Park officials tossed food laced with nutritional supplements in an attempt to boost their energy and give them that strength to climb that bank up into the waiting forest. Authorities have stated they have rescued the elephants and the pair of elephants are extremely distressed. Officials have also been instructed to move the remaining elephants from the nearby road to prevent them from suffering the same fate. The waterfall known as Hell's Fall has had a history of animals and elephants falling off it to their death. Khao Yai is undoubtedly the best national park in Thailand. Where it is relatively easy to see a number of wild animals or animals in the natural environment, including the elephants. I myself have been to this park and found it amazing, very, very interesting. There are around 300 elephants in the park, which is very popular with tourists in the Nikon Ratchasima area of Thailand. This is really is a horrible piece of news, but uh, I hope the Thai authorities can do something about it and fix this problem permanently so we don't lose any more of the uh, the great elephants of Thailand. All the Thai people are horrified by this story, as we are in the West as well. This is a news update just come to hand. Drones used to look for the two surviving elephants in the forest have made a gruesome discovery. Five more dead elephants have been found in the Khao Yai National Park, believed to be from the same herd. So that will bring the number of dead elephants to 11. One of the biggest losses to Thailand's wildlife. 
Drones are being used to search for the two elephants that were returned back into the forest. This is certainly tragic news.